Okay, what I got here is a couple of things. I have a power supply that uh, has a 0 to 15 volt output on this knob, which would go between ground and positive. This knob is a minus 15 control between ground and negative. If I run wires between the two I can basically create about up to about 30 volts between the two but as you can see the rating is 1 amp. Now what I'm going to test here is I have a power supply kind of simulating a solar panel so at 30 volts and 1 amp that would be about a 30 watt panel coming through going to one of these Turnigy watt meters which right now this one's off because there's no power being applied to yet from the power supply <clears throat> that feeds the solar input to one of these low-cost charge controllers that you can get on eBay this happens to be a 10 amp rated one that can take either uh, a 12 or 24 volt uh, battery pack on the output if you use the uh, 12 volt pack it will allow you to have up to 120 watts of solar you through this uh, charge controller if you use a 24 volt battery you can do also 10 amps so that gives you up to 240 uh, watts of solar that you can use through this very inexpensive charge controller so one of the things I wanted to test here under the 12 volt scenario is what uh, what voltage does the uh, charge controller go to float according to their specs it's at 13.6 volts and um, and then when uh, it gets into float mode when does it come out of float mode so let's do a test of that so first I'll put my meter on the uh, Turnigy. I'll turn up the knob to get the voltage flowing and we'll see when the Turnigy turns on. It should actually turn on when the uh, when it has enough voltage to light its own uh, brain up. Okay it's coming up now at 4.5 volts or so. And since the voltage is not up to the level of the battery, there isn't any current flowing through the uh, charge controller yet. So let's keep cranking it up. Looking back at the battery, the battery is sitting at 12.93. doesn't have any current going to it because the, uh, the solar panel, which is my power supply, isn't up to 12 volts yet. So let's keep cranking. We got to get above 1292 right now. Let's we'll see when the current starts to show up. There it comes. <clears throat> I'll back it down just a little bit. Yeah, so 1299. I'm just starting to get some current. Now, if you look over at my charge controller, it's indicating that I've got good power coming in. Watch, I'll turn the voltage down. You can see that should die out that leftmost uh, knob yep the green light went off on the left I'll turn it back up again get it back up into the 12 range green light comes on the middle green light says it's uh, it's charging the battery so now the battery is coming up it's at 13 1 I'm over here at 13.1. I'll keep increasing my solar power. 13.9, 14.8. Try to keep my amps under one amp because that's when uh, what's this solar or this panel or this uh, power supply is rated for. And you can see we're already up to 14 volts and the float light is blinking so it did come on 
Let's see if we can back it down and find out where that actually tripped up at. So I'm going to turn it, turn the voltage down until we get back to float only or regular charge. There we go. Okay, it's charging again. Get this back over 12. There we go. Current's flowing. We're at 13.55 on the turnigy. See when she goes into float. Right there, 14.4. It doesn't quite match what they said on the manual, but that matches the boost voltage level. So maybe the 13.6 is when the uh, wood voltage that it will drop out of the uh, float charge. So let's turn the voltage back down on the input. So this is like cloud coming over essentially. <coughs> So we're losing our PV watts. The battery. <clears throat> losing its voltage. 13.3. It's still saying that it's overcharged. 13.2 so 13.2 or so before it goes back into normal charge mode I'll start increasing the input PV voltage again that should start increasing the voltage to the uh, battery Thirteen three, It's still indicating it's uncharged. So probably it needs to get up to like fourteen four. There it goes. Just popped into uh, float mode. So this little charger seems to work pretty well. That's our twelve volt setup. Okay, let's uh, let's do the 24 volt setup. The only thing I've done differently, I have the same uh, connections from the power supply through the turnigy up to the charge controller. Charge controller comes around through this turnigy, and then uh, now I have two 12 volt batteries in series. So that gives us our equivalent of a 24 volt system. And if you look at the turnigy it's reading 26 volts so that's where we're going to start <clears throat> if you look back over here this turnigy is cold because uh, I have the power supply turned down so let's start cramping, cranking up the amps you can see that the input uh, LED there on the left there is not lit because the uh, essentially the the power has not come up yet so I'm going to start turning, turning up the power Turnigy is starting to wake up. Comes up at five some volts. Let's see if we can get up into the above 24. Eighteen, We're reading good input power here. We're not getting any charge through yet because the. Uh, because the, uh, the input is not greater than the battery voltage. All right, here it comes. I'm getting uh, 27 on my input, and I'm getting uh, 27 on my uh, batteries. 
I'll keep increasing the voltage. The controller has recognized it's a 24 volt battery and it's attempting to charge it. Charging it at a quarter of an amp. Let's see where it goes into float mode. Okay, you got the battery on full or the power supply on full, 29 volts in. According to the specs here, should be around uh, 28.8. It would go into float mode. So we're right in that zone. But all I can squeak out of it. It's not showing float mode yet, but it's showing it's under charge with the solid LED in the middle there. Okay, uh, back again. It just turned into float mode. Battery is at 2906. The input is at 29.1. And if you notice, there's 0.2 amps going in which is the equivalent of six watts but what actually is going into the battery is wait I can't get that squared away here is 2.9 watts at 0.1 amps So my input voltage 29 at 0.2. The output of the charge controller is 29 volts at 0.1. So we're not getting all the power through. So the rest is being absorbed by our charge controller. And I suspect if we had a stronger power supply that could put out more power we could probably uh, not have that percentage of lost in the uh, charge controller.